everybody. I want to take a second to talk about the Mana Traders series. Uh, Mana Traders is now sponsoring the channel, RW Hobbies. Or RW Makes Magic. Uh, helping me get all the decks I need to make the videos that everybody wants to watch. So, uh, really appreciate that. But, another big thing that's awesome about this is I get to play in the Mana Traders series. Which is an awesome, awesome series. Best prizes online at the moment. Uh, 15,000 monthly payout. That's to all their players. Free entry. Uh, it's open to, to all, even non mana traders users, but the mana traders users, like people subscribe, get 10x prize multiplayer or multiplier. So you get a lot more prizes if you're subscribed. And honestly, it's really hard to play Magic Online nowadays without mana traders. Um, I was one of the lucky few who could keep doing it because I had uh, a large collection from before they started. But there's not very many people like me left that just have an old collection on Magic Online. And honestly, even with that old collection, it was still really, really hard for me to change decks and keep trying out new things. And now that I have, you know, now that I have Mana Traders back, I feel like I'm going to be able to do a lot more videos, do a lot more with the thing. And honestly, I don't think you can get into Magic Online without using it nowadays. I think it's just a must use. And if you want to get subscribed to Mana Traders, you can help out the channel by using code A22EN when you subscribe. You get 15% off, be eligible to play in all these series. Uh, you even get to battle against me on there. So should be a lot of fun. Uh, and remember, uh, I'm going to let you get to the content now, but remember if you uh, would subscribe, it would really help the channel. So uh, thanks everybody for that. And with that, we'll talk to you next time. Welcome to another episode of Making Magic Happen, brought to you by RW Hobbies and Games in Livonia, Michigan. I'm Zach, and today we had some standard bannings. Uh, Omnath is gone. Escape to the Wilds is gone. And Lucky Clover is gone. Add that to Uro, and then also Oko, Fires of Invention, Once Upon a Time. Uh, a lot of cards banned in Standard now. Uh, but I think we've finally taken the top off the format. The Ramp Menace is gone. And uh, just judging by the domination of Bone Crusher this weekend, Bone Crusher was in. At Worlds this weekend, Bone Crusher was in 31 of the 32 decks. It was everywhere. It was almost like the maximum number of copies registered. The deck was all over the place. I think Bone Crusher is now the best card in this format with everything that's been banned. Lotus Cobra might still be there, but that's, you know, it kind of gets beat by Bone Crushers. So, uh, Bone Crushers, like Predators, the things that go over it, are kind of gone. And I want to see if I can make a version. Or make a make the best Bone Crusher deck. And when we were testing uh, the format before it released, we knew Omnath was kind of broken. We played a couple games with it, but this Jeskai deck really stood out. And the reason I shelved it was that it was so bad against Genesis Ultimatum. I was just casting a worse Ultimatum. I was trying to inspired. They were Genesising. Theirs led to more broken stuff. Mine was more controlly. Genesis, I think, is a better card, but. One of the real issues was that Elspeth Conqueror's Death just couldn't keep up in that format, and this is really, at its heart, an ECD deck. Um, ECD exiles a bunch of problem permanents, uh, and it lets me keep rebuying Bone Crusher Giants. So I get to, you know, Bone Crusher, they're playing on two, play Bone Crusher, happy to trade it off, can't do that quick enough, and then bring it back with ECD, and now I have a 5-4, ready to block. So... Um, I'm going to see how good of a, of a Bone Crusher deck I can make. I feel like this deck is going to be really, really powerful. Uh, it's really geared towards beating creatures. I mean, I have Ugin, Soul Seer, Bone Crusher, Shatter Skull, Narset, Shatter the Sky, Elspeth Conquers Death. Honestly, like, it's so, like, even Inspired Ultimatum, like, kill a guy, gain five, draw five, is just so much. It might just be so geared towards beating creatures that I should tone it down a touch and play a few more negates or mystical disputes or something like that, but I'm trying to take care of that in the sideboard. Uh, two more negates and four mystical disputes plus three shark typhoons for control mirrors. And then a few more removal spells against, uh, you know, really low to the ground red decks. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I think this deck's going to be pretty good, though. I am not going to lie to you. I absolutely loved this deck. When I tested it before. Oh, this is a pretty nice hand. Uh, I got all my colors. How do I feel about a Shatter Skull Smashing? Not super interested in it. 
I've already got enough ways to kill creatures. I've got lands. I'm really looking for more of an engine piece, like a Narset. Um, if I couldn't make one complaint about this deck, it's that it needs maybe one or two more draw spells. I wouldn't be shocked. Inspired Ultimatum does a lot of the heavy lifting. I wouldn't be shocked if I should also be playing Boon of the Wishgiver. So they're a Luris deck, and they played Island. Feels to me, I mean, it's got to be blue-black, probably. I guess it could be blue-white. I, hmm. I think I'm going to leave up Bone Crusher, just because this is a Luris deck. And if I need blue next turn, if I really want to hold up Neutralize, I can play the Seagate. I would like to go just play Bone Crusher, though. And I think I'm going to. This might get countered, but whatever. I got Elspeth Conqueror's Death in my deck. Having a creature in your graveyard is actually pretty good in this deck. It does think I don't get the full value. I guess if I was going to do this, I maybe should have shocked them. I don't know. The nice thing here is I do get to hold on to Seagate Restoration. Uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to play this so I can hold up Neutralize. The Temple, obviously I would play the Temple. Uh, I would definitely play the Temple if I had a second blue in play, but I don't. So here we are. I still don't really know what the opponent's doing here. Drown in the Lock, I guess, is good. Opponent's... Playing almost controlling, which is odd. Lofty Denial just screams rogues, though. Like, this almost has to be a rogue deck. Alright, I'm going to fetch before I scry. I do think I could play the Rao... I'll probably play the Raugren, actually. Hmm... No, I'm going to scry. Oh, Narset's great. I can do a turn 7 cast Narset with Neutralize up. Happy to do that. So it looks like opponent's playing like a blue-black control deck, although Lawfeed Denial just seems like it's got to be rogues, right? Agadim's Awakening. Okay, this has to be a rogue deck. It's the only thing that makes, like, any sense. But, I don't know. Maybe they're just trying to not blink first. I'm not entirely sure what's happening here. I am going to just play my Raugren Trium. Like, they haven't even put Luris in their hand. So, I just, I don't know what it is they could have. Alright, now Luris is in the hand. Fair enough. Hmm. I think that's going to be good. Um, the one thing that's awkward about fetching here is that this Drown in the Lock can now counter my Neutralize. I do still kind of want to fetch. Uh, and just... I, I like having these as spells when I'm already at 7 lands in play. I think I will. I just want to get Narset in play. Opponent needs very specific things to stop this. We'll see if they have it. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't even seem like they can maybe they can realistically stop it. Um Could just add mana here, thread in an alt. I think I'm just gonna draw a card though. I do not have to, like, it's a misconception with Narset that people think you have to minus, or you have to discard a card with their minus. You can just minus and draw a card. Okay, they got the Thought Thief. It is time to start countering stuff. Now opponent's in a pretty tough spot. If they want to Luris, they can, and they can get this back. 
Um, but if they do that, then I just get to kill both of these with a shatter. Uh, I guess they could counter it. I uh, just have a big blood juice. It's glad I got my card done. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good draw. So, Drown does not counter Seagate Restoration. It does get countered by Mystical Dispute, but I still think I'm going to cast it. I will feel pretty dumb if they have another Lofty Denial here. But this is a draw five. All right. That worked out pretty well. And I have no maximum hand size. Inspired Ultimatum? Yes, please. The card when you have no maximum hand size is nice. I even have a negate to protect it. That said, it's pretty likely here. Oh, they're just going to cling to dust? Okay. I was going to say, it, it feels pretty likely here that they have a way to mill me, but... I mean, I'm not short on resources here. I got a lot going. All right, I'm just gonna shatter. No reason to, to play fancy here. It doesn't mean my ECD won't have any more targets once it gets hit. Uh, I could negate this. I do think though that I'm supposed to ECD. That sounds actually better to me. Like I'm still at 20. I still have 37 cards in deck. Um, I'm not not particularly scared of this card at the moment. Yeah, I mean they can put another one in play. I've got another Shatter here. I've got a Shatter Skull Smashing too. Like I'm gonna be able to kill this. It's not really a huge issue. I'm going to counter the drone this time. Alright, an opponent has nothing left. That is an Ugin. Ooh, and I get to bring back a Narset. Yep. Narset ults fast, I will say that. Oh, they have a cling to dust. Ah. I mean, that's fine. Uh, I guess I'm going to play around Mystical Dispute. Sure. I guess I was already playing around it, but I'll target you. Oh, wait. No, I target me, and then you. That's how this card works. Oh, look at all these sweet, sweet cards. Let's make two four fours, see how they feel about that. Killing my 4 4s, sure. I mean, honestly, if this is where we're at in the game, where opponent just used two Heartless Acts to kill my land, I'm pretty okay with that.
I think it's time to get Ugin out there. I even have the option of playing an ECD. Who, into the story? That one seems too good. I don't like draw fours. All right. Opponent's drawing a lot of cards. Another Ugin here would be nice. How about a Shatter Skull Smashing? I think I'm supposed to do two ECDs here. That's my read. Vantress Gargoyle, it's so big. And a Silundi Vision, sure. With a nice little John in the lock, okay. And another Gargoyle? That's so many Gargoyles. Do you think I'm going to shatter here? Alright, ECD is a little awkward against Cling to Dust. I guess I should make them not draw the card though. Just target Bone Crushers. I think that's a win for me. They have to use a bunch of graveyard resources just making their whole turn be Cling to Dust and they're not drawing cards, they're just gaining 3 life. This is the rest of their yard. Okay. I'm actually kind of out of resources. But funnily enough, it looks like opponent has a chance to deck before I do. Just based on how much they're cycling here. Like they now have, uh, when they draw for turn, they'll have the same number of cards in library as me. I don't really know how they kill me. Ugin's good. I'm going to wait on it, though. If I cast it now, it just gets drawn and locked. doesn't do anything. <sighs> Is 
That has an island, I think, to get. Did I, mill, did I get milled? No, I can't actually get an island. How many Narsets are gone? Not very many. One? So I still have three Narsets I'm drawing towards? Alright, Narset's good. Opponents already use two Blood Chiefs Thirsts as well. I'm curious how many they can actually be playing. I think I want to scatter that. I don't want to get milled here. Alright, I'm getting milled. So not winning the decking race anymore, but... We've got a plan of using Narset anyway, so should be fine. Uh, I'm going to cast the Soul Seer on their turn. Or if they cast another Rogue here. Hmm. Another drown. So how many is it? All four drowns. Okay. Ugh, they milled my last bone crusher too. That's pretty annoying. Yep, I'm going to pay. Still paying. I am down to five cards in the library, and this Ugin's my only real win con. And three of my four Bone Crushers get milled, sadly. But opponent has to be almost all the way out of counter spells. There's no way they have like any left. They're drawing a lot of cards, though. Oh my gosh, this Thought Thief! That's actually going to kill me. How many Thought Thieves do they have left? That's their fourth one. So they have no Thought Thieves after this. And they're out of Drown in the Locks. Good, 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 good.
Kind of need to do this for six. I do really wish I had any other threat. I think I'm going to lose to decking here, sadly. Oh yeah, this isn't going to work. I'm going to lose to Cling to Dust. So I lost to basically just the card Cling to Dust. That's actually pretty annoying. One card left in my library. All right. Lost to cling to dust. These I think are bad. I like scorchings. I like typhoons. I like disputes, and I like negates. Don't think inspired's very good. And shatters like okay. In fact, I kind of don't like Shatter. I'm going to do that. Question is, what's the other cut? Hmm. Yeah. Yep, this looks good to me. This hand doesn't look great, but I think it's actually good. I got all my colors. I've got Typhoon, which I think is going to be pretty good in this matchup to just flash, get threats in play, and start beating down. Got a cheap early removal spell. Gonna go ahead and kill that before it can do any damage. It's one of the reasons I like Scorching Dragonfire is Um Ugh. So they just definitely have a mystical dispute here. I should not run Narset into that. I think I'm just gonna pass. Cycle a typhoon here. This can't attack unless there's seven or more in my graveyard and can't block unless they have four more. So this thing can block right now, but just barely. It will not be able to block if I play Narset and opponent counters it. That is something to note. Uh, given that I drew a Narset, I think we're going to do that.
Another gargoyle. Jeez. Opponent's going in. Um, these things can't block. I do think I want a Narset, though. Is your last card exactly Dispute? That would be pretty brutal. It was not. Discarding Shark Typhoon there also hurts, but I need to kill this thing. Gosh, drew into the story that turn? Brutal. Alright, let's get the card. Ugin? That's a tough one to discard. It's also a tough one to resolve. I think it's worth it though. Uh, that was supposed to be red. I was supposed to play. That was dumb. Ugh, I messed up the land too. I guess I bored out Inspired Ultimatum, so I don't need Triple Red anymore, but still not great. Well, hopefully they're mostly through their counter magic and I can resolve Ugin. Seems somewhat unlikely, but that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Give me that they just drew four. Ooh, Shatter Skull Smashing is a good draw. So this is definitely going to get countered, but I think that's okay. I'm just trying to clear a spot for Ugin. If this resolves, that'd be awesome. Okay. That's really good. I had... I. Did not think that was going to resolve at all. Thought there was no chance of that happening. All that said, the last one resolved. Mystical Dispute doesn't work. Drown would work. But they would have to have drawn it for turn. That all just resolved, all right. Let's exile all of the things. So a Blood Chief's Thirst here would be bad, but if they don't have that, they're in a lot of trouble. Okay, into the story is probably a good start for them. Well, that was a good start, but beating Ugin is really hard if you can't kill it immediately. The Thieves Guild Enforcer. Alright. Stomp. I 
when it's rocking the Salundi vision. Agadim's Awakening. Oh, that's actually kind of scary. Uh, is it, though? I'm going to cycle now. All right. Narset's actually a good draw. I don't think this card's very good. It gets a two drop and a one drop. Like, I guess it mills me a little bit, but... I'm at 33 cards in my library. That's not that scary. Opponents are starting to really use their clock, too. I am a little scared... What? Opponent cast Agonims and Conceded? Interesting. I am a little scared I don't have enough card draw post-board. I feel like that could be an issue. I also want the Soul Seer back, I think, just given that it kills Vantress. Yeah, I'm a little scared there's not enough card draw in this deck post-board. I kind of wish I had something else. I don't know what, though. Maybe I'll leave some ultimatums in. Wait, was I? No, I brought the Soul Seer in. I still had to cut something for that. Hmm. I'm going to cut a Shatter Skull Smashing. I think Sorcery Speed, really expensive Fireball. It's been good, but only because opponent didn't have counters, which is not something I should rely on, I don't believe. Sand's pretty loose. I think I can keep it, but it's loose. That was the worst draw. Definitely don't want another land. Oh, wow. Now things are looking bad. Now things are looking very bad. And we drew another land. Perfect. I don't hate keeping a slow six land hand in a control-ish mirror like this, but... It hasn't really paid off, I'll say that much. It's not really paid off. Although, I still think our spot's okay. It's not great. It's certainly not great. But I think it's okay. That is one I would like to kill. All right, Essence Scatter's not bad either. Um, I guess this is already double white. Um, I'm going to play this. Okay, neutralize is actually not a bad draw there. I'm not going to say it was great, but it wasn't a bad draw.
Alright, now would be a very good time to draw a kill spell. And we milled two of them. Perfect. And a third. Perfect. Drew a land. Perfect. You love to see it. Ugh. Milled two more spells. Gonna draw another land. Perfect. Alright, is their last unknown card a counter spell? Should I wait a turn to try and play around it? I think both the answer to both of these questions is gonna be no, and I'm just gonna cast this. Okay. Brutal. I think this is over. I don't have sweepers in my deck. I could draw Ugin. Ugin would get me back in this. Um I don't know. I think if I wait a turn, things just aren't going to go very well for me. My clock is, or my life total is pretty low. I need to draw Ugin this turn, or the game is over. Ugin does get me back in this. Oh, no, wait, this is lethal because of the extra thief. All right, I'm actually just dead. All right, well, maybe... If Rogues is going to be a high part of the metagame, I need to main deck some uh, Shark Typhoons. Learning point. You need to you need to do some learning with the decks you're playing in order to actually have them be good. And that's what we're doing with Jessica here. Oh, I think this ends a keep. It's a little slow, but I think it's a keep. Ooh, that was a great draw. Stone coil, huh? All right. I'm just going to play this planes. I'd like to essence scatter their play here. So here's, I think, a good time to temple. I would like to draw lands. Many serpents. Alright, let's just shatter the sky. End all the serpentine dreams there. These are the kind of matchups that this deck wants to play against, though. I, I think opponent has almost no chance of ever beating this deck. If we're being honest. Well, that's an excellent draw. So get to lead up souls here here if they find a one one. If they don't, yeah. I mean this game's over. This game is done and you're gonna see the same thing post board, honestly. We never saw any red things, but I think we can safely assume they have them. Gonna cut some neutralizes. Yep, seems fine.
All right. Uh, uh, this hand has red mana. I think it's a keep. I was going to say, it doesn't have red mana. Not a keep. It has red mana. This hand, two bone crushers. It's going to destroy Gruul. I don't know how Gruul beats that. All right, we got exp oh third bone crusher. Do I dare? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna bottom the third. I might go. I might be wishing I didn't, but I need to find lands. The rest of my hand is insanely expensive. Or Narsa. Narsa would also be quite good. Rushfire elemental. That is a really. That is tough to get that bone crusher. <laughs> Thanks. Ooh, I even drew the untapped red too. Beautiful. Stomp. Serpent? Oh, it would be a shame if someone had another stomp here. Be a real shame. Uh, all that said, I think I can still just play the Bone Crusher. This is not a good attack, so opponent has to use something to make this attack work, like an Ember Cleave or whatever, but they can't even cleave like next turn, so realistically what they're going to do is play out another creature, maybe two, try to go around it, and then they get Shatter the Sky, and that's going to be really bad for them. So they have like a pump spell or something? I don't really understand this attack. They have to have something, but it's not cleave. Maybe like uh, the dwarf. No, they're just gonna... Oh, wow. That is a tough way to do it. Now, now I almost feel bad. This is getting a little out of hand. Bone Crusher too strong. I have not done a very good job of drawing lands, though. I will say that. Okay, that was a good draw. Um, just want lands. Question is, is Shatter good enough here? I think it probably is. I just need to keep my life total high. I have an ECD for any of their big punishes next turn. I'm really just looking to hit two more lands and then Inspire Ultimatum is going to end the game. Okay. So I actually played this pretty well. I even have a Bone Crusher to get back with my ECD. It's going to be beautiful. Ooh. Narset's also very good. Um... I can kill Vivian with Narset. That's not terrible. It also could let me hit my land. I would then lose Narset, but I at least kill and have a better shot at hitting my sixth land, which is all I really want. So I think I'm going to go this route. I still have an ECD for next turn's follow-up. I'd like to hit a land here. Perfect. Uh, question is, what are we pitching? It's got to be this this inspired ultimatum. I don't need another. And I think I'm gonna put it on red, make him respect another bone crusher. I just also need a third red for this. So now I need a blue or a white source. Tap white, one type blue or white source here would be gorgeous. <gasps> Wasn't it? <sighs> tilt, 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 tilt.
Oh no, the cleave? That does a lot of damage. Holy cow. Alright. Untapped blue or white source this turn would be excellent. Not quite the thing we're looking for, but... Opponent can't cleave me next turn and I get rid of this cleave. I think it plays? Again, not great. I guess if opponent has land, if their hand is land plus cleave, I will die here. That would be unfortunate. But that's about the only way that kills me. And they shouldn't have a lot of cleaves in... Oh, that might kill me, actually. Alright. Well, maybe we've made a huge error. They can't cleave, though. If their plan was to cleave, it does not work. Maybe they think they can cleave? Oh, well, that also just kills me. All right. Well, the never draw the land thing too much. We had a turn there. Never found it. Shame. I think I'm going to run it back, though. I think this hand's a keep. It's awkward. I do think it's a keep, though. Ugh, all right. Stone Cola for one is fine. Don't really care about that. Um... I'm going to play this on red. Just show that I have all the colors. Okay. Get to keep waiting, keep hitting lands. Fine with all of this. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, at some point I'm going to get to Shatter here. And leave up Shatter and leave up Essence Scatter for their follow-up play. And I'm fine with all that. They just have not done enough damage to force me in anything, and we're getting pretty close to Ugin. I think that's fine. I don't mind letting them draw a card. I either get to scatter their play this turn, or if it's like a Planeswalker and I can't scatter it, I can ECD plus scatter next turn. Like, I think I'm just in a really good spot.
That is also a very, very good draw. Oh, that's an insane draw, too. Even have the third red source rolled up, ready to go. Hope you got something here, Azo Ray. You're gonna need it. I'm feeling rather inspired today. The Monster's Advocate. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, so draw. So if I play a land and inspired ultimate, I'm gonna have to discard the hand size. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just gonna play Ugin. They'll probably be able to kill Ugin. Inspired ultimate will kill their follow up, and that's gonna be the game. Uh, let's minus five. Kill all the things. Stone Coil for five. It's so big. I guess it's protected against Inspired Ultimatum. That's kind of annoying. Uh, it doesn't get protected against me plus three and then Bone Crushering it, though. And if they got a trick or something, I can Bone Crush in response. Oh, baby. All day. Too many Bone Crushers. My first one gets fizzled, but that's fine. Alright, I got bad news for the opponent here. Beating Ugin is not something that happens, if we're being honest. Oh, man. You, oh, kill your guy, draw five. Come, no, come back! <laughs> we were playing a fun game! So I'm getting some ideas here. Kind of learning how the deck is functioning, getting ideas for it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking... Feels like Skyclave Apparition is pretty bad. I do want another Shark Tafoon. I kind of want some extra card draw, like instant speed card draw, and there's just really not very much of it in Jeskai. Wait, is there? This is giant, yeah. Instant. Draw card. Oh, I can Sublime Epiphany. Reign of Revelation. Honestly, Glimpse... Glimpse of Freedom is not terrible. This is like... It's, it's funny that this card is so much worse than Uro, so it looks bad, but... I actually think there's a chance we should be playing it. I think I'm going to try this. I'm gonna try two glimpses of freedoms. It's just a cantrip, but it's a good way. It's a good thing to do when I just like start filling up my yard. It's good against rogues. I really don't hate it. I think I can also go down and inspire ultimate. I might might be a little high on those. And shatter's been medium. Uh, I guess I can put the fourth shatter in the sideboard. I don't know what my sideboard's supposed to have. It's tough to tell with this metagame. Are there any Planeswalkers that I'm not playing that are good? Ooh, Jace is kind of a sick sideboard card. Oh, I can get behind two Jaces in the board. That sounds good. Let's try two Jaces. 
I like that. Ooh, honestly, there's a chance Jay should just be main in this deck. He might be better than Glimpse of Freedom. I kind of love Jace with ECD, too. Yeah, I'm going to try Jace's main. Let's try that. Let's get these. Let's put some Glimpse of Freedoms in the board. Try some Jace's main. I like Glimpse as something to board in against Rogues. That actually is somewhat interesting to me. Uh, I think I can cut one of those. Yeah, this sounds good. I like it. It felt like we could use a little bit of cheap card draw. Jay seems perfect for that. So let's try that out. Alright. Uh, this hand doesn't have blue mana in it. It's a little awkward. It's got a bunch of... Yeah, I think it's a mulligan. Sand's also somewhat awkward, but I think a keep. And I think I'm putting back a Trium. I'd rather have a Scry, I think. Alright, I like playing against Kazandu Valley. I like that. Scavenger use is pretty beatable. Okay, Shadow Skull Smashing is actually not a bad draw. Don't want an Amarius Call. I would like this turn to not be too crazy. Okay, that's that one's pretty, pretty good. I think I need to kill it. This is why, like, sometimes you'll see me board out Neutralize against decks like this. And it does seem like Neutralize could be good, but this is why I do it, is you get behind and then you just never, like, have a good spot to leave up mana and really get them. Ooh, Jace is good, though. Um, I think I'm going to try and counter this play, whatever it is, and then kick a Jace. I think that's my plan. Feels like an Ember Cleave? No. Interesting. Okay. Clothies. Alright. I don't think it matters how I fetch blue or red. It's just gonna. One of these is blue, the other is red. I guess. Get a blue and a red. This is awkward because I'm going to die to Embercleave. I also... Yeah, alright, Jace. Find me a sweeper, please. I'm dead to the Embercleave if they have it. And it felt like, based on how they played, that they might. Oh, there's my sweeper. Those are good draws. If I don't die this turn, I think I have a pretty good shot. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to do this and then just draw the Bone Crusher. So if the opponent doesn't have Cleave, we'll probably win. If they do have Cleave, we're probably very dead. Not probably. We are very dead if they do have cleave. Going at me? Alright. Kept kind of an awkward hand on a mole. Got beat. Such is life.
All right, this hand seems quite good. Got all my colors. Got a removal spell. Really multiple removal spells. I don't know what color I'm supposed to get here. Maybe blue? I guess I have Jason in my deck. Probably supposed to get blue here. Ooh, that was a very good draw. Now I get to go two, three, two, three, Planeswalker on an empty board. These, oh, do they, are they not making a play here? Oh, wow. Why is Soul Guide Lantern in against me? I don't even have any, I guess they're trying to stop ECD? What? That just, there's just no way that's right. I'm going to play the island. That might be weird. This might have been better on white, but I already have a white here. And I do have a triple red spell in my deck. I don't know. I'm going to counter that. Oh my. I'm going to pay the life. So, I, I think there's a decent chance I get Questing Beasted here, but even if I do, Narset survives. And it can ramp me into a play next turn. I will have seven man, or six man, I guess. Yeah, so I got QB'd. I don't love that. It's a good draw, though. So we got a Scorching. Another Questing Beast would be kind of bad. But I think it's fine. Also, Soul Seer has like really overperformed. I've been pretty impressed by this card. Heroic intervention, what? Alright. You, you got it. I think I'm supposed to minus here. Ooh. Um. I'm gonna pitch this one. Thing is, if opponent doesn't kill Narset here, oh, I guess I have to draw land. Well. Oh my god, they have another questing beast. Gruel Mono Hasties. Uh, I guess I should have kept the Shatter Skull Smashing instead of playing it. I don't know. Maybe I was supposed to just plus with Narset. I lose it either way there. You an Ember Cleave too? Oh my god! How are you leaving Embercleave in against a control deck? You just can't do that. I'm going to get... I mean, obviously I'm getting beat by it, but... Alright, so as long as I don't have another hasty here, we're good, though. We're good. Okay, that's terrifying. Five mana draw three. Into robber, okay.
Came and cast shatter. All right, we are dead here. Well, that is frustrating. Jace did not look very good, I'll say that much. Let's try this Glimpse of Freedom card in the main. I like that. Losing a Gruel is incredibly frustrating. I don't think I played very well, but I should never lose the Gruel to this deck, ever. Alright, this sounds good. Don't think I'm gonna need a shatter. I'm looking for more card draw stuff. So Hagger Mauling could be rogues. Could also be like a Soul Tide control deck. Uh, I think I'm just gonna play a Bone Crusher though. I should have stomped if I was going to do that last turn, but I did want to see what I was going to draw first. I don't mind just getting a 4-3 in play. So this is like some sort of mill thing. What is that? Balaged? Alright. Crackmaw. Alright, get to use my Essence Scatter. Get to keep the beatdowns coming. Pelucranos. It's actually kind of scary. Uh, so if I double attack and use a Soul Seer, I get to kill Poly K. It's like maybe they're setting up to bring, I don't know what is happening here. It's a very strange deck. This thing has Death Touch, I do think, though. But that's probably okay. And fire off my 3-mana Divination. Or my 7-mana Divination. Apologies. Yeah, let's do it. Divination. Beautiful. Mm, definitely not worth attacking. I've got a Marius called next turn to make these indestructible, and then I get a free attack. Oh. Here we are. Oh, or I could just do that. That seems much better. Um, yeah, let's do that. Oh, I was hoping to draw land. Oh well.
I am still winning this race, but just barely. I think this can be white. No, it should have been red. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. I already cast my one triple white spell though, so this should have been red. How many creatures they got? A lot. One, two, three. Only three more. I'm gonna need to kill something here, but. If they're not doing anything, it is time to cycle. I need to kill one of these. I don't think I'm going to get a better spot to use the negate on. Fire it off here. Still just need to kill this scavenging use. Soul Seer does not really do it. Ugin does really do it. How many creatures do they have left? Pelucranos, Mire Triton. So I can't go with them. I do have to minus, unfortunately. I don't have any creatures, right? Yeah, my creatures are all gone. I could plus on the Murderous Rider. Now then opponent exactly gets out. Alright, I'm just gonna minus. Think I think I'm thinking about something I don't really need to think about here. That's where we're at. Assume we're bringing back Pelucranos. This thing comes back very large, I'll say that much. Because they have left after that. Not very many. Oh my. What a draw that was. Hello. Beautiful. Be love top decking the five mana burn spell. Love it. Uh, so it's green black. I guess scorching seems fine. Gonna be off the negate. Off a of neutralize, I think. Alright. Well, I think this hand is actually good, despite being a little strange. I don't think I need another land there. I 
Yep, good on lands. Got enough of those. Land or Visionary. It's a very good card. I think I have enough white sources. I'm going to play this one on red. I can see playing this one on red too because I have a lot of blue sources, but this can fetch white. I don't know. I think they're both going to go on red is the, uh, the long and short of it here. Don't really like countering that, but I mean, I'm going to. Uh, I will essence skater this. Ooh, Glimpse is sick. All right. Uh, oh, man, Glimpse looks really good here. Another Poly K. No. No! Go away, Poly K. You big lummox. All right. Well, that is a sick draw. Now I get to wipe the board and kill the Plukronos they follow up with. Don't know if I'm supposed to get red or white. I do know I'm going to cast Shadow of the Sky here. I think, I, I think I'm supposed to get red. I think that's interesting. But I think it's supposed to be red. Uh, I think I was also not supposed to counter this and then just ECD it. I think I'm going to do that. I was hoping to draw a land, but that's fine. Meyer Triton. All right. Ooh, that's a big Garrick. Kind of wish I had scattered that Pelucranos now. Oh, they couldn't cast Garrick that turn because of ECD. I, I missed that. That's actually sick for me. Glimpse looking pretty good here. Escape's just such a good mechanic that that should... Ooh, two Soul Seers. Well, I wanted to play Ugin. Don't quite get to do that. Bioquartz Space Godzilla? I don't even know what that does. It seems huge, though. I know they can cast it from their graveyard as a mutate cost. Uh, how close am I to glimpsing again if I fire off a Soul Seer? Like, kind of close? I think the secret here, though, is that I should just draw land. Alright, not, not exactly what we were looking for, but it'll do.
Yeah, I just don't want this thing to have haste. Garrick dies to my hero's downfall, funnily enough. Ooh, they had the Murderous Rider. That's strong. The reason I wanted to sequence that way is that now my ECD can get this back, which I think is pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is still right. I do kind of get punished here. So I can glimpse here. I'd have to exile Ugin. I don't really want to do that. Scavenger use is annoying. I think it's annoying enough that I'm supposed to counter it. I want this Ugin back. Hmm. Yeah, not gonna play the land. I think I am probably just gonna glimpse. And use Soul Seer. I'm gonna use Soul Seer to kill this. Well, I guess if they brought that back. It's a 12 12, it's so big. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Tough spot here. I think it's probably... Mm. I was going to cycle Trium. Okay, Bone Crusher's good. And my Ugin gets the alt next turn. They have a murderous rider? Darn it! It's their third murderous rider. I have Quartz Space Godzilla. Uh, yeah, this thing is busted when it mutates. I can't let that happen, sadly. I just can't deal damage to it anymore. I, like, have to ECD it. Um, where are we at? Do I want to play a bow crusher out? I think that's probably fine.
Yup, Garrick's gonna resolve. Okay, this actually works out better for me than I would have thought. All right. It's not bad. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to Raugrin here. I guess I can play River Glide and Cycle Raugrin. Yeah, that's probably better. Opponent is going to need a very good turn this turn to kind of get out of where we're at. Okay. When Grackma, whenever another creature you control dies, it had a plus one plus one counter on it. Okay, so I can kill this and then kill Grackma. Right, let's start with Narset. I guess I can also Shatter Skull Smash in here, six each. That's not terrible. No, then I die. I can't do that. Alright, we're going to try to hit. Otherwise, we might die. We whiffed. That's not good. Not good at all. A kill spell for their own creature actually would kill me here. I think it's okay though. Bone Crusher is not a great draw. It's like okay. I think I'm still going to top it though. How's the opponent still have so many cards? Okay, fine with that. She's coming back. And another tome, okay. So, um... I need to do this for six. I, for some reason, thought I had more mana. I'm actually just dead. All right. The Narset whiff was bad. Hmm. I don't like that I cut an Inspired Ultimatum now that I'm playing this deck. 
Would have been much better than Glimpse. Jace doesn't feel like it's particularly good either, though. He's probably okay. I don't like Shatter very much. It's like okay. Alright, I think this is a keep. Decent hand, decent curve. That was an excellent draw. Counter their play here, can bone crush if I need to. I don't like Grackmon, let's counter that. Mm. Sun Scatter seems okay. Still think I'm mostly off of it though. I think I'm just gonna run out the bone crusher. I actually am interested in trading it off so that I have something to get back with the ECD. to like just delver them out here. Another poly K, huh? Ooh, Jace is kind of sick. Oh, more than... Jace is like very sick here. This is awesome. Both seem good. Opponent can spend their turn killing my Bone Crusher and then, like, killing the token with Pelucranos and maybe playing something else. But then I get a big guy back next turn with ECD, which is kind of what I was trying to get to happen anyway. And now I have an active Jace. Wilt the ECD? Okay. I'm gonna bottom I'm gonna bottom both of these honestly. Seems like it's a good turn to just do this. Happy I bottomed two lands, because I just drew five more. That's absurd. I was thinking like I really do want to draw like one land, so it'd be nice. All right, uh, let's scry. I need to kill Garrick. Scorching is not bad. Narciss, I mean, those are spells. I'm going to keep them. Uh, 
already played a land. I get to leave up all my things. Perfect. Now they can kill one walker, but not both. And if they make a weird attack, then I get to leave both in play. Yeah, that works out very nicely for me. Want this one dead. Be a real shame if there was another Narset on top of my library. Alright, let's bottom those. Get those out of here real quick. Let's start with a Glimpse of Freedom. I think I can play Narset Plus. <sighs> oh my gosh. How many Planeswalker kill spells are you playing? Planeswalkers aren't even good in this format. It's ridiculous. Why do we use only red there? I don't know, but that's what we did. All right. Okay, this is good. This is very good. How many cards are in the yard? Enough. Perfect. Okay, huh? All right. Finally locking this up. I don't think I need another Jace. I'll take another Bone Crusher though. Yeah, I think I kind of want to hit a land next turn. Oh wait, I'm gonna hit a land. I have an Inspired Ultimatum. Yeah, that's fine. Does that kill anything? It doesn't kill anything. Alright. I wonder if they'll concede to the inspired ultimatum here. I would if I was them. <laughs> Stacking it like that so I can minus to get Jace back, obviously.
I guess I could have countered that. Not that it matters, but... I can still play Ugin. I probably just don't need to, though. My cards left in my library, 23. I mean, I didn't come here not to. It's probably definitely not the right play, but, like... <laughs> At 34 life with how many cards in hand? It doesn't even say. 13 cards in hand? Yep. Oh, they got a 6-6. Six, six. They got a 6-6. Six, six. I got a Narset emblem now too. Dees. How do I answer the 6-6? Six, six? I, I assume I have multiple ways, but I can't actually even really tell. So many cards! Uh... I guess I'm just gonna shatter. Sure. Oh, I'll target you. Oh, I could have killed with the Narset. I forgot Narset targets creatures. I could have just, like, bone crushed it and scorched. Don't give him a card. Whatever. We're fine. Everything's fine. I still get to leave up Neutralize, too, after Ugin? Wait, no, I don't. Well, I got an Essence Scatter. Whatever. I respect playing Meyer Triton there. Running it out like the game's gonna. <laughs> nope, I want this one. Oh, come back! Come back! <sighs> I think it's enough Jess guy testing for today. Um, it feels like it's going to be really good in this new format. I'm excited. We're actually going to start working on some white-black clerics tomorrow. I think clerics can actually make a decent comeback now. Um, and I also want to start looking... Where is... I want to start looking at Luminous Broodmoth again. I think Luminous Broodmoth is going to be, actually be good. Uh, so, yeah. We're going, to, we're going to be exploring the format a lot. This banning has got me really hyped again. I'm really excited to play with it. Um, oh, man, Standard feels like it's back. I'm excited. Still going to be playing more Eternal Weekend. I told everybody I was going to be making uh, more videos, but as it turns out, I don't like a lot of the decks in Legacy, and I'm just going to play Snoko, and I think you guys would get bored of that video pretty quickly. So, there it is. Uh, still gonna be playing modern. Still like modern. Uh, just excited with the standard band, so wanted to get in here and battle some of this. But remember, if you like the content we're making here, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Please click the thumbs up on the video. Like it. It really helps out the channel. Uh, and leave comments. Happy to discuss plays. Happy to discuss decks. Happy to try stuff out. You want to see a new standard. Uh, yeah. And with that, talk to you next time. I'm joined by Kyle Bogomis. Welcome, Kyle. How are you? Raja Suleiman with Orzov. Max McVitie. Wow. Congratulations, Ryan Mars. Mars. Zach Allen. <laughs> I wouldn't be here without these guys, though. So. And the champion of Proto Concerts Arcade, Ari Lax. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.